we are the first midwife students there. Black. Wow. Yes. And the hospital practical was the experience. What's so special about Malta? You've been measuring about Malta. What's because <laughs> <laughs> I like money like to Australia? Please run away from Australia. Hi everyone, you're welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another guest in the house. So um, I'll let my guest introduce herself before we go ahead with the video. Thank you so much for inviting me. Um, my name is Tengovile Kumalo and I am studying midwife in Poland, Zimbabwe. Wow, awesome. <laughs> this is actually my first time seeing someone studying mid will i call it midwifery or midwife i don't know the best uh, word for it i think anyhow because some call it midwife some call it midwifery what inspired you to study midwifery why not nursing or other things because everywhere is everybody's bubbling up nothing 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 the internet is, mm -hmm. is exploding so i chose to study midwifery because you know midwifery uh it's specifically for a birth right like a mother giving birth yeah three quarters of the things about that so uh, i figured out you know in my life that i like helping you know i like he kind of inventing something new mm -hmm. i like uh creating you know something new so i was like how oh, about like i just become a midwife i just like help someone give birth help someone bring new life in this world so i was like i think midwife will be the thing to go better option for you wow yeah that is good and uh you decide to like poland is the best option for you yes because back home i was i was in a university i was studying uh accounting but then I, that's when I discovered like accounting, yeah, but I'm not really good in accounting, you know, because like I said, I like, you know, then I was like, ah, so I saw this advert, Poland, uh, the school, you know, then I was like, ah, let me just what, try applying. So that's when I saw there's nursing, there's midwife, then I was like, ah, everyone is doing nursing, you know, let me just do midwife. Plus, of course, I searched for other opportunities. Then I was like, no, I'll be a midwife. I'll help someone do something that they really want in life. What's the duration of your course and what, which university are you studying? Your um, like I said, I'm in Poland at this university, uh, Vincent Paul University mm -hmm. in uh, uh, VPU, in mm -hmm. most people know it as VPU. Yes, so we are the first midwife students there at VPU. Really? Uh, if I can say yes, if I can say black. Wow. If racist and stuff but for a blake we are the first um midwife there so oh. the course is it's just three years just like all those uh courses just like nursing so it's just three years so you you like i i, I did inter i interview a guy studying physiotherapy mm -hmm. He's, he said um as back 2017 there was nothing like nursing in poland like for english <laughs> But in Polish, there, there were a lot of us university offering nursing in Polish. But in English version, I think it, according to him, it said it started 20, I think 2018, 2019 or so. Mm -hmm. So, oh, wow, that's good. I think like VPU, like the school that I'm studying at now, it's it's growing, you know, because like what you said, because it started with nursing, physiotherapy, and other courses. So now, mm -hmm. for each, uh, students, we were the first by four, were the first ones oh. for me to Yes. Oh, so that means you are in which semester now? I'm in third semester. We started last year in March. Wow. Third yeah. semester. So that means when I got admission in, uh, to study nursing in VPU, that was 2021, there was no mid midwives uh, course then. No, there no, was no. No midwifery then. No, there was oh, no. Wow. That's good. Maybe oh. when the but... That's nice. Okay, yeah. now this brings us to our next question, which has to. Um, Let's look at the cost of studying midwifery. Mm -hmm. um, what is the cost? How much tuition fee per year and per semester? So they just treat us like uh, how they do with other um, programs, for, ex for instance, like nursing. So for we pay 3.3 .3 euros, like 3,300 euros per year. So when you first come and when you start in like first semester, you pay the 3,300 euros once because it will be covered like for the whole year. Mm -hmm. Then when you're now like in your second year, you can pay per semester. Like you can divide 3,300 divided by two. 
So the 1,750 for this semester and the other one for the next semester. Okay, so basically you are saying your tuition fee per year is 3,300. But yes. the new intake, are they still paying the same amount? Because I guess VPU is now a bit expensive. Yes, the, the last time I changed, I think they were now paying 3,600. If you can give me a brief of your curriculum, how is it like this? So well, what happened is when we, we start there, right, we learn three quarters of, like what I told you, a nurse and then a midwife. So three quarters mm -hmm. of our modules are for nursing students. Mm -hmm. We do midwife, we do, we do, sorry, we do um, pharmacology, physiology, oh. anatomy. We do like three quarters of our modules are for nursing. Then of course there are some way by now you're just specializing for midwife, but three quarters of them, it's for nursing. Okay, wow, that's good. Let's look at the clinicals. So how is the clinicals done? Have you started your clinical? Because I believe you are in your you just started your third semester. Did you do any clinical during your second semester or was it simulation? No, we started simulation in our first semester. And then in our second semester, that's when we started going to the uh hospital practicals. Oh wow, that was fast. Yes, and the but... hospital practical was the experience where you allowed to like deal with uh, pregnant ladies taking delivery and some other things okay so apparently like what they do right it goes like stage by stage so what they do mm -hmm. is when you're at school and you're in the uh, simulation centers they teach you uh, things right and then when they teach you guys those things when you go to the hospital you now do those things for instance when we were in our um, uh, second semester, we were being told about like uh, gynecology stuff, you know. So when we went to the first practicals, that's what we were doing then. And then, so stage by stage. So for now, we, they haven't really taught us like deep, deep, like labor and all that. But we started recently, like last week. So of course, they'll first teach us and then we can go and practice. Okay, so basically you are saying at this stage, this is the first stage of your clinical practicals at the hospital. So definitely it's going to be the gynecology ward where yes. they are in delivering. So were you able to see pregnant ladies or you were just there like showing you around, telling you what the procedures were like? No, like the hospital where we were, it was like a, it's a private hospital. So, you know, patients, you, of course, you first ask for concern and stuff. So uh we for, we honestly we really didn't see our uh, patients giving birth and stuff but of course we could uh see them doing like the kind of gynecological uh things we really didn't really get the chance to do but we could see them doing you know like so of course it would be different from the simulation center because now you'll be seeing like uh, physically on a real human being okay yeah that's not bad because i believe at the time you get to like this is your third semester you keep like getting deep into it mostly when you're in your fourth fifth semester that's when you like do yeah. more details yes. it will always start from the third semester because same thing with our the first practical we have we didn't really like do much but the next semester we like went to the surgery and there was there was a whole lot of experience like real life experience there let's look at the job opportunities so basically you won't have been able to see a graduate being that you're the first set but i believe you must have done some research about job opportunities and how you can um after you graduate how you can uh, try to like work after study so do you have any uh, contribution to this yes yes i have of course uh like what you say that of course i've started researching you know when I finish, where do I want to go? What do I really want to do? I've really started on researching that. So, mm -hmm. of course, there are different countries with uh, different uh, salaries or payments. Plus, if you see midwife, it's nursing. So we are doing both nursing and then you now major in midwife. In nursing staff and then you are majoring in midwife. So there are really uh, of jobs in different countries where you can go. Mm -hmm. Salaries. <laughs> okay. Um, based on the conversation you've had with um midwives working in other countries, did they tell you the range of um, the salary? Is it same as nurses? And also, did they tell you how easy to get a job as a midwife? Is it? I believe because I know they both register with NMC. 
Mm-hmm. So same board of uh, nursing and midwifery. So how's the payment like? The- it's more or less like the nursing payment. Sometimes, mm-hmm. of course, it differs with the hospital and the country where you went or where you want to go. Uh, but in most cases, um, the salaries are a bit higher compared to the nursing. Nurses, yeah. Yes. So for instance, let's say a nurse is getting paid, uh, for example, let's say uh, 30 euros per hour as a mm-hmm. midwife be getting 35 euros per hour so the salaries are a bit higher compared to the nursing you just mentioned i also heard it that midwives they, they are well paid more than nurses yes it I is heard. like what i was mm-hmm. saying yes and then you majored in midwife which means you are more skilled like to do mm-hmm. yes. oh wow that's good i should have gone to study midwifery because <laughs> <laughs> i like money <laughs> what's next after your study like um after your study do you want to stay in poland or do you want to go to uk like what is trending i was going to the uk uk ireland malta mm-hmm. what's next what next for you okay honestly i would really love to uh, move out of uh, poland because of course like you said money number one number two i have of course stayed uh, like uh, by the time i've just stayed here for about three years so it would be a, again a nice thing for me if i move out of poland one adventure wise two mm-hmm. is you know because of course there are other countries where you'll be paid a much better but mm-hmm. again there are countries where you will paid much better but it's not really easy for you to go for instance mm-hmm. country, yeah. so i guess it will be easier if you just go maybe to you know maybe island and then malta and then it's from there you can go to wherever you want to go what's so special about malta you've been mentioning about malta what's so special about malta that you want to go to malta <laughs> let me know <laughs> well you know when i i do like uh, my researches it's a really nice country of course it's beautiful mm-hmm. you know it's nice compared to um quite a number of countries plus they pay well because they're not really like a lot of midwives they they are yes yes so you know like in most cases if you go somewhere whereby there's a lack of something and you you go there you're bound to be paid more yes yes Mm -hmm. so that's the thing especially like island there are few so you're bound to be paid more so i guess that's that's why i'm preferring those countries yeah i had in a um what's it called australia there are a lot of midwives there pediatric pediatrician and midwifery so they said they are they have like a lot so if you are a midwife you're going to australia please run away from australia because according to what i heard it's difficult to get a job as a midwife and pediatric that is very difficult they have a whole lot of them there so no, yes. true, true. so now any advice do you have for those watching your videos because definitely there are lots of people in africa that would want to come study in Poland or any other part of Europe and they are considering that in between either should I go for nursing or I should go for midwifery so what advice do you have for them I would really say first of all guys uh, you guys should really come here to to Europe right Mm -hmm. why because when you're done with your studies it's it's bit it's a bit like easier for you to get a job because you already have a certificate from this side. So mm-hmm. the, the chances of you getting that job, they'll be really high. For example, I'll do like for my for what I'm studying for, for midwife, mm-hmm. it will be really high because sometimes there's even a, a shortage of midwives. So imagine mm-hmm. you have an advantage of you are a midwife, so you are really needed for that profession. Number two, really like your degree is from europe like it's recognized everywhere so you find that it will be easy for you to get a job get money you know and then everything will be fine so i would really advise for someone to come in europe and just study here yes in africa you can but it might take time you know yes. you are, now you are processing your work visas you are looking for a way to go you know all those things maybe even writing body exams like what you're saying you know but from here it's just you finish you get your license you go where you want. It will be a bit easier for you as a person. Yeah, you made mm-hmm. a valid point. It's easier to like migrate from Poland or any part of Europe to oh. to the West or anywhere you want to go to. Mm-hmm. So it's very, very easy. Yeah, you made a valid point. So I think this brings us to the end of this video. So thank you for honoring my invitation. Thank you for your time. Yes, so guys, you've seen it now. So midwife are, are 
highly sourceful. So if you are undecisive, like you are in between, either should go for nursing or midwifery. I think you should go for midwifery because in Ireland, they are lacking midwives there and also in Malta and so many other countries. But don't go to Australia. There are a lot of them in Australia. So then it is going to affect New Zealand. So there are a lot of them there. But other parts of the country there, you can still get job. And remember, midwives are well paid more than nurses. So you should think about it. So guys, you've heard it. So thank you for watching my video and I hope um you check my other playlist. I have a whole bunch of videos. I've interviewed someone that studied physio physiotherapy. So if you want to study physiotherapy, check my uh, playlist. You're going to see someone I interviewed. He's also studied at the um, Visempo University. So I have a whole lot of people I interviewed from Visempo University. And I also have uh, a nursing student from VC that is now working in UK. So check that video out. So thank you. Uh, Simpo, Simpo Bile. <laughs> sorry for pronouncing it that way so thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it so thank you so much thank you for having me bye